in the CBD is because I know it's going to cancel out. And you can see that canceling. So when you cancel that out, what do you get in the numerator? One. Just one. Okay? Is it now safe to plug in a zero? If I plug in a zero, I get the numerator is still a one. What's downstairs? Square root of one plus one? That'd be? That'd be two. Is that question? Upstairs? No, I've canceled the x's, right? The x's have been canceled. No, no, here, this step here, I cancel this x and that x. Yeah. yeah. Okay, is everybody all right on this? Everybody get the rationalizing technique? Okay, very similar to what you used to do a long time ago. Okay, a couple of things, okay, while Eileen is trying to figure out what to ask me. Notice that I always have limb there. Until the very end, there's no limb here. Because I plugged in a zero, and therefore I got a number out of it. I already took the limit, so to speak. So if you don't have these limbs here, you're going to be knocked, uh, you're going to be docked points, okay? Yeah, awesome question. Um, you can have a ride. Well, only because you want to get limits, yeah. And, and remember what, what we talked about, okay, is that in calculus, when you get a, a rational expression, then you can have a square root downstairs. I mean, you can have, and you'll see this in calculus, okay? It's fairly legal. It's only you can't have something like this. Okay? So everybody all right on this? Okay, I'm down for the day, so you need to be working on those problems so that... Well, I need to go back to your problem there. I have no idea. So, you take this, and that's 1, 2, and 8, 5, 8, 6, and you just do the random number, so right Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Well, you are doing a synthetic division with x plus 1. So you know that this is has a factor of x plus 1 in it. Okay, and then you, okay, all right, I'll buy that. But you're not doing this synthetic division. Yeah, so yeah. So, yeah it's not, it's no, no. Together, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, let me go over this, okay? Okay, people, Sharik, back to home. Okay, Sam and Mark. Okay, number 15. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be, I'm just going to show you the factorization trick, okay? X, squared, X cubed plus 2X squared minus 5X minus 6 over um, X cubed minus 7X plus 6. Uh, John. Okay, Sam, wow, how many times do you want me to tell you, man? Early morning, making me yell. Sabina, Chupkar. Okay, now, uh, this is really uh, an idea that I got from John as he was showing it to me. Uh, it's straight out of, well, for some people it's straight out from your A, for some people, it's straight out of your heart. Does everybody see that uh, this would be a factor for the denominator? Because if you put a 1 in here, you can see that f of 1 is equal to 1 minus 7 plus 6, which is equal to 0. So from the remainder theorem, you know that x minus 1 is a factor. OK? So let's go ahead and do the div of this guy synthetic div. OK, that's what John was talking about. You can't do this division synthetically. You can divide each one of them by x minus 1. So if I do that, 
I'm going to have 1, 0. Does everybody see where the 0 is coming from? Right? To fill in the spot for x squared. Yes? Minus 7 plus 6. And you're going to divide by 1 here. So this becomes a 1. Uh, that becomes a 1. That becomes a 1. That's a minus 6. A minus 6 and a 0. So it's divisible by x minus 1. So your factors downstairs are going to be x minus 1 times x squared plus x minus 6. Does everybody buy that? Yeah. Okay. Now you know how to factor this guy. Well, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. You feel it in your heart. You just, you just do. Uh, going back to uh, the rational root theorem and all that, the P over Q stuff, do you guys remember? Yeah, it's all connected to the P over Q stuff. Okay? When I give you a main A polynomial like this, okay, and I'm asking you to solve it, okay? Remember, one of the things you need to do is factor. Okay? Do you remember Descartes' rule? Yeah, it's all connected. So with P over Q, there was Descartes. There was the fact that you will try X equals 1 as a solution. You will try X equals minus 1 as a solution. So it goes back there. You're asking me where? Well, if you really had your heart going back then, then this guy would have been embossed in your heart. And today you'd feel it. Today you'd feel it. Okay? And then you can do the same trick upstairs. Well, you know how to factor this guy. X minus 1, X plus 3, X minus 2. Okay? And you can do the same thing upstairs. Do a div by X, uh, do a synthetic div by, uh, by X minus 1. Same factor. And again, you can kind of see that it makes sense to do that because if I put in X equals 1, I get a 1 here, right? If I put X equals 1, what do I get? For this, hello, two. two, and for that, and for that, negative six. Does that give me two and three? That doesn't give me a zero. So uh, maybe you need to try a two. Uh, negative one, uh, negative one, uh, five and one six. No, I don't. Uh, negative one does work. Okay, so you go minus one, that's a plus two, that's a plus five, so that's a seven minus seven. So the upstairs you're going to do a synthetic division by x plus one, the opposite. Okay, and then you'll see that some factors will cancel out. Okay, so do a div of one, two, negative five, negative six by minus one. Okay, and then you'll have to cancel the factors. So can you guys work that out? You still have 10 minutes. I want to see how you guys proceed with this. Kind of shows me whether you've understood what I'm saying. Yeah, I think so. 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 Yeah, I think so.
Sorry? Fourth period is my uh, third. So there are two assemblies, right? So these two are assemblies. So that might be your third, and this might be your assembly. Oh, is that a fourth? Oh, it's before lunch, I think. Uh, 60%. I'll see. I'll see what. Whether I'll give her late or just accept it the way it is. Okay. All right. Thanks. She still has to make up a test. So let's see how she does it. Okay. Thanks.
Way too loud for early morning, man. I'm still trying to take a nap here. Eileen, still trying to do a nap. Chill it. So I'm still not sure like uh, for finding limits when do you when when is it safe to just plug in and when do when you, what? When when is it safe to just like plug in the tax? And when is it when safe you, until the denominator becomes zero. When the denominator becomes zero, then it's not safe. Well, wait, when you substitute it in and the de de denominator becomes zero, then you can't, you can't just substitute it? That's right. Okay. Uh, and then you have to use like graphing uh, utility or other methods. Okay. Thank you. Okay, see ya, see ya. Oh, John. Thank you. Oh, did you? I thought you weren't going to be uh, going. Well, I, uh, since this is fresh, really.